Child, one of y'all told me to use Uncle Funky's. I mean, I'm going to wait until tomorrow to see the tea on how this dries up. But come on, there's no hope for this. Y'all lied to me. I used this curl stimulator, whatever, and I used the extra butter. I remember a long time ago, they were like, I think they, were, they had like some ambassador program that they were like trying to get me to join. I wanted to do it, but I never got the chance because I, I saw everybody using it. And I was like, oh my God, that looks so good. Like, wow, your hair really looks good when you use that. Girl, what is this? Did the formula change? Did the formula change? What is the f new formula? This looked like I just put water in my hair and let it air dry. Good morning. What's up everybody? Um, I needed to go get catch the light, but let me take this bonnet off. This is the reveal of, what's her name? Girl, what did I use last night? Hmm, Uncle Funky's. She looking moisturized. I'm scared. She smells, it's too much, it's too much. I can smell her already. Okay, absolutely no definition. Zero definition, this is how much definition you have, zero. Today is New Year's Eve, so I'm going to, I have the urge to go live, like tonight. So last night I went to Target and I got, I think I showed you this, I bought like some cute little non-alcoholic drink. Finally, they, they updated the dang on thing. This is, I mean, the wrap is unnecessary. Like, we don't need more plastic. We really don't. They could have just made that an aluminum can. Anyway, I'm about to go to the gym, but I do want to go live tonight. So I'm thinking about maybe baking a pizza from scratch or like wings. I want to do something like festive food, like a food that would be at a party. Thinking that we could bake some wings and make a sauce or a pizza and maybe some like sh cupcake. That's the vibe tonight. Cut your hand off. Don't ever do that again. Wait, why is kind of looking a little bit good? A little bit good. Mm. You see that right there? Never mind. Girl, the ball about to drop, ho. <laughs> like 30 minutes. I'm going to go into this grocery store, though. There's a sweet woman getting out of her car. But she getting out hella slow. Okay. Seriously, girl, sweet time, child. I had to go. I just need like a few things. I want to make like a pizza and cupcakes and just like toast the glass. You know what I mean? Even if I just kind of like toast the glass to myself tonight, I need a basket. I gotta get butter because I want to make like butter garlic sauce. Get some mozzarella, which is actually right here. I just learned that like certain cheeses are very low in lactose. Most people who are lactose intolerant, me girl me ding 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 ding, ding. <laughs> we have a winner <laughs> can actually eat them and i think mozzarella is on the list but it's like all in moderation obviously i think i'm gonna get this mozzarella from sargento i don't want to make like a big pizza just like one little tiny pizza there's like a really tasty oh oh girl yeah this bitch be one of these yes meow because i think i want to roll roll it into i wonder if there's a smaller one but i want to roll the corners of the pizza with the mozzarella sticks so it can be like stuffed Get this butter going. Wow, five dollars for some butter. What is happening? I'm scared. Wow. I need pepperoni. I don't know the difference between pepperoni and salami. It's like pepperoni just flavored or something. It tastes like because it says salami on there, but then it's pepperoni. So maybe pepperoni is the like pepper oni. I'm just buy this child. See, I would buy these, but they look like dog treats. <laughs> Girl, it's the packaging. The packaging. Cute pepperoni minis. I decided to not go live tonight. It's literally New Year's, what time is it? Wow, it, it, two minutes ago, it turned New Year's on the East Coast. I guess I should call, gotta call my mom, or my mom will call me, I'm sure. Or maybe she's falling asleep. I decided not to go live because I was like, let's not, one, bother the girls, two, let's take a day off. Like, I, I told myself I wanted to take a break, and then, so why I got all these lights set up and this camera and this microphone. <laughs> like, I wanted a cupcake tonight, but I wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to also share this moment, this turn of the year with all of you, but deactivate and unmailed my brain from YouTube. I need to be able to turn it off, because if not, then, girl, what is this? iRobot, what is this? the Matrix? So I'm actually just baking the vanilla cupcakes on my urn. 
and I might go live tomorrow when I when I have more free time. Right now, I just want to like bake, chill, eat a little cupcake tonight, um, and work on some fun passion projects, and then go to bed, ho. I might watch another episode of Game of Thrones tonight or Southside. You know, just living my single life in this box of an apartment that I actually really love. Like, uh, girl, let me send that out to the universe. Thank you so much for letting me have this space. Lots of sunlight, lots of, you know. Girl, squeeze the half a lemon in this buttercream. Wish me luck. I usually when I make buttercream, I flavor it some way. And today I was like, maybe we'll just do a regular vanilla cupcake to bring in the new year. But then I was like, hmm, I want this to be flavored because it's just so bland. That's good, it's very subtle. Today is like the first point in the day where I don't have like a podcast playing or I'm not like scrolling through TikTok. I just turned off everything, which is so nice to not have noise around because the TV isn't on. The only thing I hear are like these firecrackers that the girls are popping off and the sounds of baking. I get so scared sometimes because I scroll TikTok all day. Like when I'm doing anything, I'll just have TikTok also open. When I'm on a treadmill, I'm scrolling to TikTok. Even when I'm running, I'll be scrolling TikTok. Girl, put that thing down. Put that phone down, ho. But, and sometimes I'll get scared like, oh my God, am I like truly, truly addicted to this? So I'll turn it off. Remember that my brain can think without noise. This is a beautiful buttercream. It's so, so light and fluffy. Go ahead, taste it. There you go. Don't taste it. If you don't want to taste it, you don't got to taste it. That's really good. That is really, really tasty. We love to see it. I didn't even have to use all of the buttercream. That's beautiful. Vanilla cupcakes with the lemon buttercream on top. Don't mind if I do. These are some cutie pies. Mm. So fluffy, so airy. Baking is so ridiculous and so fun. It's hard to throw all that stuff together, put it in a magic hot box, and these came out. Ended up twisting my hair. I'm going to bed. Good night. Having a glass of water right before bed is like... It feels good to like give my body something to like run on when I'm sleeping. Amazing. Good night. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of whatever this is. Um, cause I don't know where I'm, po I'm posting these, girl. I think I'm gonna post them on my second YouTube channel. Anyway, that's unnecessary information. I don't know why when I come up here and talk, I just talk nonsense. You know what? I'm gonna start that over. Hey everybody. <laughs> I'm actually right now about to send off all of these giveaways. Uh, packages because I ran some giveaways at the end of December for Vlogmas and a few people won so I'm just going to send that off today. I realized that I didn't get to do all of the giveaways that I wanted to do. So what I'm not going to do is continue doing giveaways because I'm realizing that this is a lot of work child. I had to create Google Forms. I guess it really was my fault but I created Google Forms that were questions for people to answer whoever answered them fastest like they won it was a lot of work like creating the google forms coming up with the questions like being a whole teacher and then also coordinating five different giveaways on different social media platforms choosing winners announcing the winners and then emailing the winners and then organizing all the information so i know who won which giveaway where to send it to i had to get all this information I was like, dang, this is a lot of work, ho. But as you can hear, I'm using old boxes because I like to recycle and reduce and reuse. Instead of buying new boxes, just use the boxes that I've already been sent through, like PR and whatnot, to send out these new giveaways. Um, so I'm just going to send this off. Thank God I'm finished packing them all. And I've been writing little notes to go inside them because I don't want to just send y'all products. I want to, like, say thank you. So now I've been writing these notes on my little brown thank you cards that I've had for so long and I just never used. Oh, I already wrote the note. I already wrote the note, man. Dana, right? Yeah, Dana. I hope y'all don't mind <laughs> that these boxes are already used, like they've already been used to send things to me. It's just about reducing and reusing and recycling. I'm not trying to be cheap necessarily. I'm gonna go drop these off at the post office and then go to a coffee shop to edit 
maybe these vlogs here because i haven't gone outside in so long not even to ride my bike and it's getting scary for an entire month uh, since nashville i have not gone outside to like walk around or go on a hike or anything i've just been kind of here going to the grocery store and back and i'm trying to go outside so i'm gonna go at least like edit some videos at a coffee shop maybe get like a matcha green tea or something like that but all the giveaways are packed up thank god the rest of these products though i think i'm gonna take to a woman's shelter near me instead of hoarding them in my because in my space they're just like all over here and i want to give them away girl i'm giving them away i have, actually have a friend who has natural hair in my apartment complex i'm gonna knock on her door real quick and then just ask her if she wants any of this stuff and if she doesn't then i'm just gonna donate the rest of the woman's shelter um oh my god <laughs> this thing is flowering what the heck what the heck Oh, congrats, baby girl. Today did not go as planned. I was supposed to, girl, first of all, first things first, because I don't know which one of y'all was in my house. Leave the cabinets open. I pay the rent around here. You don't pay no rent. Do you pay rent? All right, then no, <laughs> close, my, close my cabinet. I woke up late and I went to bed early. I really do think that humans should hibernate all in December and like a little bit into January and then just like wake up when they need to. I heard somebody say that in a TikTok and I was like, yeah, it's starting to make sense. I woke up and I just, my I was in the smack dab in the middle of the day already. And I hate when that happens. A perfect time to wake up is for me is like eight o'clock, eight o'clock a.m. Because it feels like I have so much time before afternoon which is when I usually go do cardio or something like that. I get so much done in those four hours and then the rest of the day feels long as hell. But whenever I wake up at around noon, like 10 o'clock, 11, pushing 12 o'clock, I'm like, dang, I don't have no none of the day because it gets dark at around four o'clock and it's like I have four hours to do anything. I wrote a list last night, thank God, because otherwise I wouldn't have known what to do today and I would have been running around like, okay, what do I need to get done? I did my smoothie, took my vitamins, did my cardio. Then I had to pack up all the good away stuff and send some packages over to my sister and my mom but by the time that i did that it was already four o'clock because i woke up so so late and the freaking post office closed at 4 30. so when i finished it i was like you know what i'm not even gonna have time to get to the thing on the post office so i was getting like a little bit down i was like oh i'm, I'm like that's sad because i did all this work and i wanted to like send this off and finally get this off my list and so that made me like low-key depressed i was like oh because i was like why can i have done it faster i was like not focused all day or at least or rather, I did focus, but I hyper-focused on everything. So I was like packing boxes, but then I was like, ooh, you know what? I'm in the mood. Like, I'm getting stuff done. I might as well clean my entire kitchen. I might as well vacuum my floors <laughs> and my bathroom. I might as well do laundry. And so I was doing all this extra stuff when I should have just got the things packed, gone to the USPS, shipped things off, and then came back and then cleaned up and like did all that stuff. But I was like, had to take advantage of me being in the mood. Otherwise, my kitchen would have stayed a mess. But what that also did is it took away time that I could have gone to the coffee shop, which I've been saying I wanted to do for a month now, like a whole month. Go to the coffee shop and get work done so that you are not in your office, in this apartment, every single day. I let myself down again on that. And it just feels like I'm like trapped um, in this place. Like I love my apartment, but also... Girl, go outside, be around people. Tomorrow, I don't have much in the way of me going outside, so there should be absolutely zero excuses. Is it me or is fruit going bad so much faster than it normally does? I can't keep anything for more than two days because the dang old, everything is spoiling. And, I, and then I'd be scared to eat. I guess this one looks fine. I had to rinse them all off because there was like four in the little bag that were all squishy and mushy and they had like white mold on the outside of it. And so I rinsed all of them off. And whenever I see something like that, I just be like, I don't, never mind. Throw them all away, trash. Throw them all away in the trash. They're so tasty. These are really great snacks. Speaking of snacks, girl, I'm making cookies. <laughs> I love making some cookies, girl. Don't give me two hours of free time because I'm going to find a way to make a cookie. What a gift. I know somebody grew this one like on a farm somewhere and these were harvested, but what a gift to have a tree be just here that like bears these kind of fruits and we get to just enjoy them. That's what I'm like, when I get older, I really want a farm. I would love a farm. Like Oprah's doing it right, you know what I mean? I would love an orchard. I would love to have avocados and apples and all these things that just bear the fruit so I don't have to go through like a factory to get food or go to a grocery store. It would be great to learn how to be a vegan that can throw down 
without the use of, I guess you would have to find a way to make like get salt and pepper and seasonings and stuff. Still, I think a farm is a really good idea. It's a nice house, a farm, a family, friends who actually visit. <laughs> Girl, that was tasty. That was a tasty orange. And I'm so thankful. I know that these were probably genetically modified to produce more sugar, but <laughs> I would love an orange tree. That sounds so beautiful. An orange tree, a lemon tree that I can just go outside, pluck one off and just enjoy it. I'd be so afraid. And I think it's because of the, the FDA where everything has to be FDA approved for me to like consume it. I think that also has this kind of different effect where it makes me afraid to buy anything that isn't commercially produced. Cause I'm like, girl, did you inspect that? How do you know that's not going like, have some kind of parasite in it or like something. But then it's like, girl, I'll get the stuff from the dang on grocery store and it got mold on it. So what's the truth? I'm making chocolate chip cookies with brown butter. So I did um, a cup of brown sugar, honestly, not a cup of brown sugar. I did a cup of butter that I browned on the stove. And then I did 150 grams of brown sugar, 100 grams of white granulated sugar, and then one egg, I would put two egg yolks in there, but I, I just, I don't have as many eggs. So I just did one egg, half a teaspoon of baking soda, 185 grams of flour. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and then also a half a teaspoon of salt. Cause you need to activate the baking soda with salt. If you don't put salt in it, it's like, how are you going to activate the baking soda? Huh? The baking soda creates the air bubbles that get baked into your things. And so it creates leavening, like it creates height. The dough is chilling in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. I actually have a timer on. We got 18 minutes left. And then I'm gonna bake a few of them. Dark chocolate and milk chocolate that I'll probably like chop up and throw in there. I was gonna go live. I'm so mad that I still haven't gone live because I was supposed to pop these bottles, ho. I was supposed to pop the bottles from Target. Oh my God, we matching, sis. Oh, snap. Today on the elevator when I was going down, when I was bringing packages down, because I brought all the packages and giveaway stuff to my car just so that I'm like, Fast and Furious with it tomorrow. One of the leasing office ladies was doing a tour. They're always on the elevators, like going up and down, showing people around this apartment complex. And they always act extra friendly, mad fake. Rima, why are you turning fake on? Suddenly, all of a sudden, you wanna be best friends with all the residents when you got two people who are about to sign the dotted line to come live here. They always act mad friendly when the new girls come around. Trying to talk to you. Girl, we ain't never speak before talking about, hi, hello, how's your day? So the leasing office lady starts talking to me while there's two other people in this elevator and I have my, my little trolley with all these boxes in it. And she's like, hey, how are you? As if like, we have some community here. Girl, we do not commune. <laughs> Girl, we do not commune. Even though my leasing office has not really given me too much trouble. Like they've been quite nice actually. I found that really odd though. And she complimented my hair, but like in a very white woman way. She was a, a white woman. She was like, oh my God, I love your hair. And I was like looking at my phone and I was feeling down already because I, like I said, I didn't get to the, UP, the UP, USPS office in time. And so I was like, not really trying to engage with her, but I was like, thank you. I appreciate that. And then she's like, that's so fun. Cause she was like referring to my twist. And white people do this thing where they look at your hair, if it's in twist or braids, first of all, there's no difference. Girl, whatever you got in your hair, it could be locks, twists, braids, cornrows, it's, they're just gonna refer to it as braids, no, no matter what, huh? For her to be like, oh, that's so fun, as if like I chose, like, I guess it is fun, like, yeah, thank you. You can't just have your black hair. I mean, I, I feel of two minds with it because it's like one, Thank you, I appreciate you appreciating my hair. But two, that also continues to other me in every kind of space that you have to like point out my hair every single time you see me. You have to like point out my blackness. And we know that like blackness through the lens of like white people is usually, it's usually like a fetish, right? So if a, a black woman was like, oh my God, I love your hair. It would feel so different, right? It's so different when a black woman was like, love your hair sis. Cause they just know that like you put time and work into it. And like, they also have that kind of hair. So they like appreciate how you've done that. But with white people, it's like, I wish I can do that. Can I touch it? And it's like, ew, <laughs> get away from me and stop talking to me, huh? I don't want to sound harsh, but that's just really how it be. And they gotta, they always gotta make you like the, the zoo animal. Look at this kid, look at the hair, look at it. 